Ephesians 2.19 says this, Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. Today, as we celebrate the weekend of the birth of our nation, we can dwell on the joys that come from being citizens of a country that has given us religious freedom and has given us so many freedoms. And we can focus on all the great things of this citizenship. And, that, and we should do that. Um, but the greatest citizenship we can ever have in life is the citizenship that comes from being sons and daughters of the Most High. The citizenship that comes from being a believer and being in the family of God. We are no longer considered um, slaves of sin and death, but we are considered children of God. And we are now part of His kingdom and part of the greatest kingdom on earth, and that is because of the work of the Son of God's Son, Jesus Christ. So let's thank Him this morning. Thank Him that we were able to inherit this citizenship from Him. Let's pray. God, we thank You so much for being a God who uh, has just allowed us to be a part of Your kingdom, has taken us from enemies into children um, of You. And Lord, we thank You so much for that. We, we thank You for the price that your son paid as we also dwell on the price of all that those that paid that um, to allow this nation to be free so god i pray that we are constantly reminded of the best citizenship we have is is in you and in your son so we thank you for all things in your name we pray amen